挽回千本桜影よし
not the word. It could have been worse, but honestly, fifth from that crap start, take those, but that Lux, man, what a freaking troll that Lux was. I should have switched sides. Could you imagine like you hit a three star uh, Soraka and then a cursed blade proc shrinks your Soraka and you lose the fight? That'd be pretty bad. Uh, so anyway, like I said, it gets C tier because for its time, but other than that, not, you know, not good. All right, set two. So set two is the set that almost kills
man, some of the units were like real rough. Making Inferno with Zyro when there's a woodland trait. Making Diana Inferno when there's a moonlight trait. Like there were so many bad decisions in that set. We learned a lot, but my god, what a rough set. Um, but honestly, because there are some good elements here, not everything. the first two weeks there were no galaxies that is uh that's a big monka nowadays could you imagine just like yeah you don't get treasure dragon or dragons today like this is no world uh so that's that's kind of silly the other thing is that some of those galaxies were real bad there were some real bad galaxies uh remember lilac galaxy where you would start with a four cost and whoever got soraka lost the game yeah that's not great that's not great yeah, so set three, solid set, definite improvement, but like, definitely some things wrong with it too. So it gets to go in B tier. Now, the good news is, set 3.5 starts a trend of improving the set. Set 3.5, uh, we got cool things like Bard and Teemo and Astro. Uh, we got Urgot, Urgot was kind of fun, controversial, but fun. The galaxies were like solid now. We were getting the good galaxies. We ended on Big Bang Galaxy. Big Bang Galaxy was solid. So I think 3.5 shows like, again, it was the first mid set that improved the set. It was an improvement. Not like perfectly, but it was a solid improvement. Um, so I'm going to put it in a. You could argue it's S, and I might end up moving it to S a little later. But it's definitely A. Yeah, Cassiopeia was really fun. Yeah, Cassiopeia was fun. Yeah, I, you know, I'm gonna put it in this here. I'm gonna put it in this here. So. Uh, okay, set four. Set four was like, ah, chef's kiss. Uh, Chosen was a really good mechanic. Don't let the, the angry tryhards fool you. Chosen was a great mechanic. The theme was fun. There were some really good things here. Not perfect though. I will say set four starts a trend of us launching a little bit before we're ready. Because set four, uh, you know, the chosen mechanic took like what three or four iterations of tuning to get right. So early on, chosen was real rough. People getting their five cost chosens at level eight early on was not great. But moonlight was a lot of fun. Uh, balance was still kind of all over the place. Had some really good carries. So really what we have to talk about is like, was 4 better than 3.5? And I think the answer is yes. I really do think that. I mean, Fortune, the 5 cost, I think it's better. So I think it goes above here. I'm going to put 3.5 in A tier for now. That might be fine, but that 4 was better.
this is a conversation about. And it's really close. It's really close. Yes. But for me, the reason I say five is because I felt like five was something I could like. I feel like if you put yes. two and five side by side together today, five would win. And five didn't almost yes. kill TFT. Two almost killed TFT. So for me, I'm always going to hold that grudge yes. that set two is worse than set five. And so it's going to look like this. Yes. But it's close. It's really close. Yeah, I think armory is really good. Yeah. Okay, so then we talk about 5.5. 5.5, I think, will yeah. always go down as the most improved mid set by a long time. Radiant item is so much yeah. better than freaking shadow items. This is not even close. Uh, we fixed a lot of the problems. We got rid yeah. of a lot of the annoying crap. 5.5, like, 5.5 has been bad. I think it would have burned a lot of players. 5.5 shows that look, the TFT team might screw up, but they're gonna fix it. And we can trust that they'll fix it. So for me, that earns a ton of points. So now it's a question of where does it fit in comparison to the rest. I think 5.5 is as good as 3.5. That is, that is my controversial take. The thing that puts it a little below is some of the verticals, like Dawnbringer and Nightbringer, were just blurry compared to some of the stuff in 3.5, like Mech. So for me, 5.5 is better than 3, worse than 3.5. You could argue it might be B tier. Like, this is debatable where it is here. I, I'm biased a little bit because, again, it was like such an improvement, and so that makes me feel really good. But if you told me it's B tier, I'd go with you. Okay, set 6, the Arcane set. Set 6 was the Fortune Trash Out. Uh, tons of fun champions and traits. Uh, Mercenary came back, which was basically Fortune 2.0. It brought augments. Augments were exactly what TFT needed. Set 6 was exactly the investment we needed. Timed with Arcane. It was perfect. Sorry, it was perfect. It was perfect timing. The set was not perfect. There were still some things in that set that, you know, we had a bunch of verticals that were basically non-playable, like who played Academy, anyone. So it did get a little bit predictable. So it's not perfect by any means, but my god, was it good. My god. So, set six, I think, is the best set we've released to date. I think it is better than 4.5. See, it sits at the top. It is the king. All right, 6.5. Remember that tradition I talked about where uh, mid sets are always an improvement? Yeah. This one, not so much. This one, not so much. Um, you know, relied on a lot of preprints. Uh, relied on, you know, I, I think Hextech did not really work out as a trait. The meta was really not great. Diver. Just some real rough stuff in there. It didn't quite pan out the way it could. I don't, like, it got, it still got carried by Ogden, so, like, anyone who puts it to, like, D tier is, like, lying. It's not that bad. The thing is, it was just such a stark contrast. Going from 6 to 6.5 felt that good. But it still wasn't bad. Um, so, for me, the question is, what is it better than, right? It's clearly better than 2 and 5. Like, putting it in D tier would just be like, uh, is it better than 1? I think so, honestly, with Ogden. Is it better than three? That's where it gets really, really close. So for me, I'm gonna put it in C tier above set one. I think, and again, remember how I raised 5.5 because it improved the set? I think it gets C tier because it made the set worse. And that was not okay. Um, I think you could argue it's B, but like, again, the gap between 5.5 and 6.5, and I feel like it has to be punished for that, like, all right, now, 7 and 7.5, I'm going to have to be careful. I can't go into my full details because we have the learnings article coming out and I need to respect the publishing beats that are coming out. So I can't go into my full feelings completely yet. But I will tell you, I will be broad. So apologies, you'll have to wait for that learning article. Uh, set 7, I think 
千本桜影よし。